Hey there, it's Kelly from Kelly's Astrology here. I got asked a really fun and important question today on Instagram that I wanted to record a short video to answer. The question was, let me make sure that I don't uh, paraphrase and butcher the question. The question was about the moon in Taurus. Uh, So just hold one second. Of course, I should have done this beforehand, but I thought I would remember the question and I did not. Okay. Best advice for working with a Taurus moon when they feel sad. So the way I interpreted that question was, what should I do when my Taurus friend, uh, Taurus moon person, friend or uh, romantic partner or family member, someone you know with with the moon in Taurus is feeling a bit sad and flat. And my responses to that are, you want to feed them, get them something warm, something tasty, something with a great fragrance, put something around them that smells good, Uh, spray some essential oils, put a diffuser on, get in the kitchen and make some food from scratch. Uh, If they like a particular type of perfume or if you know they like a certain types of flowers and they have a wonderful fragrance, The sign of Taurus is our most sensory sign. And so you want to appeal to all five senses. The moon placement of someone is what they really need to feel safe and calm and secure. And the moon in Taurus really needs calm to feel secure. So if you've got a moon in Taurus person that needs a little bit of TLC, you can also think about taking them outside into nature to a park, uh, go hiking, um, if that's an option for you. Uh, you might bring them flowers or a potted plant. Um, you might just encourage them to go and sit in the sunlight and get the warm sun on their skin. You could also encourage them to rub an oil or a really lovely cream onto their skin. It's anything that's going to evoke that uh, tactile quality. You could offer to give them a massage or you could buy them a gift certificate for a massage just depending on what's available to you based on your circumstances. So we want to appeal to things that are going to feel good on the skin, smell good, something that might sound good. Maybe they have a beautiful type of music or a a chanting or some Tibetan bells, something that is going to evoke the healing power of sound. Taste, I mentioned, you can feed them something, usually getting a Taurus moon, some food, um, something sweet or something with carbohydrates or something really solid and substantial. Um, You know, it could be meat if they're meat eaters or a really rich uh, lentil or chickpea type curry dish. Something that's fragrant and warm and nourishing is going to help them. Most importantly, though, the moon in Taurus does best in a calm environment where there isn't chaos, where there isn't a lot of frantic stuff, and where there isn't a lot of harsh noises. So if you're trying to calm your moon in Taurus person down, reduce distractions, go and put them in a quiet room, maybe give them something that they can touch. If there's a pet handy, a cat or a dog, get them stroking the pet. Um, If there's a, a beautiful blanket or a piece of fabric they like or a cushion that they like to hold, anything that's just going to remind them that they're in their body. That's where the lovely oil on the skin is great because that's just so tactile and evocative. So hopefully this gives you a few tips about how to soothe, pamper, and calm down your moon in Taurus person. If you've got any questions or comments about the moon in Taurus or about the moon in any of the other signs, do pop them in the chat box below. I'm Kelly from Kelly's Astrology. I teach students uh, all around the world how to understand themselves through the lens of astrology. If you'd like to learn more about astrology, pop over to my website, kellysastrology.com and sign up for one of my online astrology courses. Have a wonderful day.